Hello fellow Island Riders, glad to see you. Happy Friday. Um, yes, that's true, it is Friday. Not just any Friday though, the last Friday of the month. <laughs> so, with that, it's time for us to do a little bit of a checkup because every Friday, usually every at the end of every month, uh, the last Friday, I try to do kind of like a channel update to give us an opportunity to kind of check in with each other, you know, and give you a heads up on what kind of videos are coming down the pipe, what I'm working on right now, and any kind of update about major news. We do have major news. All right. <laughs> but the biggest news, I guess, the most relevant news to what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of acting, finally sorting out all the luggage uh, on the KLR right now because uh, me and Brandon just got back a couple days ago from our big trip this year. We went to the Gaspé Peninsula of Quebec and we were there for seven days and six nights and it was amazing. But um, yeah, it was a wild old trip. <laughs> I'll go into it in detail. I'm just going to get a few more things sorted out here. Whoa. I still got to like hang up the tent and all the sleeping bag and stuff like that and just kind of deconstruct this kit bomb of a motorcycle at this point but yeah the trip was amazing it was fantastic like i said it was seven days and you know what when we got back there on friday it's i'm filming this now on a sunday um and you're watching it on a saturday how or friday so it's kind of confusing <laughs> but um we felt like when we got back it almost like you know no time had passed at all you know it's almost like it, we had left the day before but man oh man was it ever a long long trip So yeah, so as far as what I'm working on right now is concerned, it's basically just this, you know, post-trip wrap-up, you know, backing up all the video files from the trip itself and just getting all the uh, the equipment squared away here. But boys, oh boys, was it ever a rough trip, like I mentioned. I mean, oh, just equipment failure all over the place. Some mechanical issues on the KLR 650. Um, nothing too, too serious, but stuff that we do have to address. Um, I lost so much equipment. Like, um, I lost, like, I think, I think about three microphones <laughs> over the course of the whole thing. Plus one audio adapter for the Hero 7 is now kaput. It's dead. Um, the Hero 8 is messed up. My GoPro Hero 8, the, like, the speaker on it that I use to do mic checks before I go out on a ride, it's all messed up now, too. So I think that camera in general is on its own. Luckily we have the Hero 10, which is what we're filming on right now. But man, oh man, just equipment failures. Plus like the whole front half of the trip is just all in the rain. <laughs> we definitely got tested by the rain on this one. That's for sure. Holy jumpings. But not too bad. You know, we survived and we had a blast. So beautiful up there. Just, just incredibly beautiful. Like the, um, the, the mountain ranges, you know, and the river landscapes and the coastal drives. The coastal drives are just epic. Uh, but, you know, I think the first day we, we we got swamped, though. Like, I dropped the KLR in, like, a huge water hole. I'll, I'll throw a clip up. I can't just, like, I can't leave you <laughs> waiting for that. I'll throw a little clip of me dumping it there. All right, big water. I'm gonna push it. Push me luck. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get on the other side of this. Not too bad, but you gotta commit to it. All right. Very deep. Don't stop. Bike's down. It's very deep. Don't stop. Bike's down. I'm up. Yep. It landed exhaust side up. Good luck. Keep pushing, keep pushing straight up. Eyes up, eyes up, eyes up, eyes up. Oh. Well done. 
that right there, like all my, my gear, my rod gear was just like swamped after that. But, you know, we recovered, you know, a few days and a few nights in camp. And I was able to basically just, you know, dry everything out that needed to be dried out. So not looking too bad. So I'll, I'll put that to the side just for a second here and I'll focus in for a bit because there is a big change that I have to get across here. And I'm going to rip it off like a Band-Aid Island Riders. Um, I'm moving the schedule from new videos every Monday to new videos every second Monday. So a new video every two weeks. And the reason for doing that, there's a few different reasons. I know it's a bummer. It's, it's a bummer. <laughs> I'd much rather do new videos every Monday, but just because of the things that are going on right now between work 1.0, work 2.0, and where the KLR is right now and because of the way the big trip went you know I just got too many irons in the fire and I got to pull a couple out and like focus down on a few things while trying to keep moving ahead so like right now for work 1.0 is super busy for me and I'm really really passionate about the project that I'm working on so I really want to focus on that and work 2.0 the military Canadian Armed Forces starts up here in a couple weeks and I'm trying to pull as many hours as I can for that because some of you know, some of you don't know, but next season I'm buying a new motorcycle. Me and Mrs. Dowski, we are getting a new motorcycle. That's what Project V is all about. More to follow on that. Um, but it's a, it's a couple's bike <laughs> for us. So part of getting that means that I got to start pooling some cash together, which means taking extra army shifts. That's where all that cash comes from. In addition to that, like I mentioned, we had a ton of equipment failures over the course of this big trip. So all of the footage that I have, a lot of it doesn't have audio, which means a lot of post-production work is gonna have to go into it, which means the editing time for that is just gonna expand, which means I need way more time to get ready for that to release in the first of December. So that all means I gotta buy some time, which means new videos every second Monday. So new video every two weeks. But it's not too bad, we're only gonna do that up until December when the new video or when the big series um, fires up. And then we'll just go back to the regular schedule there. We'll figure it out. I've got lots of actually cool videos for the off season plan because we got lots to talk about, not only on the KLR 650, we have a lot of things to do there, but there were some topics that came up over the course of the big trip that I really want to tackle in depth. You know, we used an app during the trip called the Trans Quebec Trail app. And that app was just so good. <laughs> it deserves its own video to talk about just that and how to use it and how to interface with it. If you ever think about going up to the Gaspé Peninsula for a nice adventure, I want to, you know, convey a few tips and tricks about that. So that'll come way, way down the road. But as far as what's going on right now, by now, you've probably started the first episode in our summer series, Mayhem on the Mainland 2. So, oh boys, this is, I'm getting into the editing of this now, and it's a really fun trip. Um, the whole concept of the trip is that we met up with a group of riders from New Brunswick that was organized through Yugo from Babino Moto. You guys probably know about his channel. If you don't, you should definitely check it out. Uh, he organized a group ride of about 15 riders to go to Mountain Martin Head to go moto camping overnight. And it was amazing. The trail conditions were awesome, really tested us, and it was really fun. And Dave and Brad and myself, we all came over from PEI to do that. So it's a really good series. I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. That series is going to carry us on through this little you know, lull period, if you will, into our big trip series. And that's where things will carry on from there. Anyway, why don't I show you some of the stuff that kind of like got tweaked on the KLR before we go on any further. I'll show you what's going on. Get a pair of gloves actually. So it's all on the rear end here. So number one, I discovered this in camp um, and I had to ride through it for a while with this. Look at this. Shouldn't be doing that. That's one of two things here. This is either the cush drive system on the hub or it's a wheel bearing on the hub itself. So I still have to pull this rear tire apart and then just kind of diagnose that and then get some parts from Mitch. So folks, just an update. It's definitely not the, uh, the dampening system or the cush drive. Um, that is like really rock solid. <laughs> the definitely problem is uh, this old janky bearing right here. This thing is toast. And yeah, so luckily I do keep uh, a set of critical spares for certain things. And that includes an all ball bearing kit. So I'm sending her down to Mitch and uh, cause I don't have a bearing puller kit yet. It's one of those things on my wish list, but uh, I'll have to take care of it. Second thing, the brake 
The rear brake is just toast. I get a brand new set of rear brakes on this thing. And I gotta do both of these things before we're able to take the KLR back on the trails. So that takes away a little bit of ride time there. But overall, the KLR did absolutely fantastic on this year's trip. This trip was a very nice balance of dual sport riding, dirt road, fire road riding, dual track riding, and beautiful asphalt rides. And yeah, like I mentioned, you saw it. I swamped the bike hard, but man, these Tusk packs can pan your bags. Took it like a champ, it was perfect. And after a few days, we got into a really good rhythm and the trip was just amazing. You know, all electronic failures aside, it was still a blast. Yeah, another toasted microphone. Brutal. So what are the plans so far as far as new rides are concerned? Well, once the KLR does get back up and running, we got to get back up and running on our yearly goal, our off-road goal for the season, which is off-road endurance, which is to pick up where we left off from last year and do the King Cora run. I can't wait to do that. I'm very pumped. I hope old Silver Fox here has a nice speedy recovery to help that around. <laughs> but I'm sure it's not going to be a big deal. You know, I'm not too, too worried about the issues that I've got right now. They're all pretty easy to, to fix up. So looking forward to that. So that's going to be something that'll probably be airing out in the postseason now, since we're pretty much on the road to the real big series. One really cool thing that came out of this trip too was um, how well the distribution system up here on the front dash works. Now, I've always been worried about the little, you know, 12 volt accessory block slash distribution system I designed and created for the KLR650 uh, based on water ingress, um, primarily because of its location. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the distribution box is located just in there, but do you see this giant gap? And you see all the, the water? <laughs> the water just kind of rushes in there a little bit. But you know what? The thing held on. It charged my phone the whole time. It charged camera batteries the whole time. It was actually really awesome, despite having a full torrential tsunami, just like, you know, hit the KLR's front end, you know, repeatedly. <laughs> so it did great. And it lasted all throughout the rain. There were times where we were riding an entire morning on the trails in the rain. There were times where we were riding on the asphalt along the coast in the rain. And there were times where we were breaking camp in the rain. So much rain on this trip. But the system and the luggage system held up really well. Now, I won't spoil too much of the big trip for you, so I to say that the big trip will be called Song of the Siren. As you, like I mentioned, you know, all season long, we've been doing this little theme where we've been talking about song, nature through song, locations through song, and following these songs on our adventures. And that's what this one's gonna be. Of course, I'll leave the details for you for the big trip. <laughs> and it is a ways away, but don't worry, I'll send out, I'll put out a little treat, a teaser in October and things. Things are gonna go by. This is all gonna go real fast, and we'll be back on track. Again, you know what, I apologize for like the, the bi-weekly videos or the week's videos every other Monday, but you know, it's just something you gotta do. Eventually, like if you know you've got a lot of work coming in, you've got two options. You can mitigate it and you can try to find a way to have everything you know, in harmony or you can try to still tackle it all at once and get overwhelmed and burnt out. So, you know what, I'm all about prioritizing the mental health. <laughs> And uh, you know, that keeps it so it's not, it's less of a job. Cause let's be honest, like this YouTube thing for me is a hobby, you know, and I really love it. And I feel like the more that I get closer to it being like, you know, a stressor or like a job or anything like that, it just steals the fun right out of it. And you know what, if the fun gets stolen, you're gonna hear it on camera. It's just gonna be me, you know, phoning it in on the video, on the cameras. And it's just gonna become like, ah, you know, the videos that I would produce in order to maintain that we, um, Every other every Monday video would just be trash anyway. So yeah, that's I think it's the best way forward. Anyway, I think I'm gonna leave you with that. <laughs> I've got a lot of other stuff to do here with the kit. I gotta hang up the the tent outside, hose it all down. Same with all the tarp and stuff like that. Get my gear all, you know, organized back in the little kit room that I have for everything. But if you're out riding, please ride safe. Fall is in the air. You know, one of the best parts of the riding season is upon us. And the leaves start changing and the mud gets nice and 
you know, soupy again. <laughs> when it gets nice and cool, the cool air, oh, it's so refreshing. We got a lot of that up in the mountains, actually. So if you're not looking forward to fall, you should start looking forward to it. It's going to be great. We're going to have a lot of fun on the channel in the post-season of the Island Day TV after the big series airs a little bit deeper into the winter. But until that time comes, until the next time we ride together, take care. Please ride safe.